Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick review of the PCS Street Fighter Akuma Deluxe version. I bought the Deluxe version because I actually wanted the Street Fighter 4 portfolio head and the uh, other one that was above this version was sold out, so I settled for this. Uh, most of the time the Street Fighter statues never really appealed to me and I am a fan of Akuma and this uh, statue by PCS was actually very accurate uh, when it comes to the design and the facial structure of Akuma in Street Fighter 4 and 5. I got this from Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, they were offering free shipping so I ordered it on a Monday and then they ended up shipping it on the following Friday and it arrived at my house uh, the following Thursday. The assembly of this statue is very easy. It comes with a base and then the whole body and then the swappable hands and the portrait. I went for the Street Fighter 4 look so the hands that I used are the padded hands and uh, his head obviously the portrait is going to be the Street Fighter 4 head. Uh, for his gi that you can see, I draped it over his belt to expose his old torso. Undoing the belt was pretty easy, I just had to untie it and then wrap it back around and tie it again. Um, as you can see in the video, attaching his hands was very easy, even his head. There was no problems with the, the magnet. Um, the statue itself, it's sculpted really well. The, you can see it, the anatomy of the sculpture it's very accurate to not only the game but to real life um, yeah they did a really good job of making him look very tensed up and all his muscles are in flexion the pose they used is uh, the street fighter 4 idol pose for when he's fighting and i think in street fighter 5 too he also looks similar as you can see in the details of his beads and you know the clothing uh, the eyes the musculature it's all very well detailed painting of his skin um, it's very accurate to the color in the game uh, his hair as well uh, his eyes you know they have that akuma stare where he's just really angry and it looks great uh, as you can see here on the back he has the kanji symbol that's uh, available in street fighter 5 so uh, the higher versions have the street fighter 4 torso which is a different symbol I honestly didn't mind uh, the symbol, so that's why I got it. Didn't really matter to me. But as you can see again, is the musculature is so well done on this statue. So here's the the big reason why I got this statue: the uh, lighting effect. It's really nice to look at uh, in the dark or in low lit light. His back lights up with the symbol, and his eyes as well. Here's a close-up of the clothing that he's wearing. Uh, you can imagine the fabric just from the photo itself. It's like a rough texture. It's a really nice feel to it. All right, so what I'm about to show you next is the biggest problem I have with the statue, and it's not really the statue itself. It was just I got unlucky with the shipping. While I was installing the head, I noticed that the hair tip on the Akuma Street Fighter 4 portfolio was completely broken off and another hair tip had been chipped. Uh, it was pretty heartbreaking to see that. I contacted Sideshow Collectibles to see if you know anything can be done about this. Uh, hopefully they can replace it. My only concern is that uh, this was the last one that they had because right after I bought it I noticed that the item was listed as sold out. Hopefully they carry spares and they can replace the portrait, otherwise I'll have to return this and I really don't want to. I tried to put like a temporary fix on the tip by attaching, you know, applying some glue. But, you know, the crack is still visible and then the other hair tip is still chipped, so it's not really a permanent solution. Uh, here's another issue that I noticed was that there was light leaking out from the torso right underneath the pectorals bilaterally. I'm pretty sure this is not how, you know, the statue was designed, but it kind of makes him look like he's just bursting with power. Uh, funny enough, the uh, Street Fighter V portrait, which is much heavier and has a lot more hair trips, was intact 
during shipping. There's uh, no damage whatsoever. So going back to the light leak issue, uh, once I noticed the problem, I decided to dim the lights and see how extensive the problem really is. Though it turns out that the problem was quite extensive. The uh, fractures will spread throughout his body. He had uh, multiple hairline fissures that were uh, just completely leaking light out and you know it looked like he was bursting with energy which is a cool effect but i'm sure that was not the intent of pcs when they made this statue i contacted sideshow and uh hopefully they respond to my email soon and then we can get this sorted out but overall i would recommend this statue if you are a fan of street fighter and akuma especially um it's a very accurate statue and it's you know it's quite large the dimensions are available on any website that holds this product in stock. So thanks for watching my video and I hope this helped.